Um, I think um, for everything, it's all about having goals set and also relating back to the team. I think that's very important um, because, you know, offseason is very important because there's no shot clock. And so within that time frame, you have so much growth to improve on and get better at. And for us, all we can do is reflect on the 2023 uh, season because you're judged off your last performance. And so all we want to do is keep on building and improving and um, in each room. Each room has goals for themselves. And most importantly, you know, all, it's all about the relationship aspect of it with Coach Sheridan, Coach DeBoer, the quarterbacks in the room. Just always just trying to improve. And Coach DeBoer talks about relentless pursuit to continue improvement. And that's something that we got to do uh, constantly each and every day so that when it comes to goal set, which is future goals and long-term goals, we didn't comp accomplish that based off of, um, you know, what we do in the offseason, which is in the dark. I felt good, you know, felt good, confident, just off of training. Um, because, you know, you know, you fall back to your level of training. You don't rise to okay, you fall back to your level of training. So that for any aspect of the game that it comes to, you can reflect back on your training and based off of the reps after practice. And so, you know, with that, you know, it's all about being detail oriented so that, you know, when any um, time where it's a crucial aspect in the game, you can step up because of it, just of the level of training. Yeah. No, absolutely. It's been great to be be with him, um, especially, you know, of course, he, you know, uh, just the relationship he has with the quarterback and just trying to learn as much as possible. And as a quarterback, you know, I want to see the, the field and the lenses of the head coach, you know, in all areas of the game. And so that's been awesome to have that aspect now from spring ball to uh, summer training and now um, fall camp, then transition to the season. It's been so much growth and so much improvement. Um, as a team, you know, just off of just the relationship aspect and just always being a sponge for all information. What's it like going through a film session with him? Kind of take us behind the scenes a little bit and kind of give us a behind the scenes look of what, it, what it's like kind of going through one of those with him. I think, you know, ultimately you're trying to see the field as a coach, you know, to see the football field in the lenses of the coach, you know, and it processes differently, you know, when you get on the field. Because, you know, at the end of the day, at the quarterback position, you simplify the game into being a point guard with the football. Distribute the ball to our playmakers so they can make explosive plays and, you know, doing what the play was required. And so um, no better than you can have the opportunity, which is the film prep, so that, you know, you have the preparation so when you get on the field, you can play at the fastest and ultimately, you're, you know, your best. Uh, not necessarily, you know, I just try to, you know, just trying to improve and get better in my sense because, you know, I haven't reached the surface of what I can do. Um, so, you know, with each and every day, it's all about, you know, setting goals and all, you know, ultimately being around my coaching staff because, you know, they're going to push me to be to wherever I need to be at so that I can be I'm ready to play when it comes to game one. He pushes you, bro. Talk about the confidence that Nick Sheridan gives you as the quarterback coach. What, what are the things that he says and does that puts you at that confidence? Number one, he believes in me, he loves me, and I think there's nothing greater than that. You know, beyond any X's and O's and going over schemes, it's the belief system that a coach has in a player. And so you wanna, you're gonna wanna play for a coach. You're gonna wanna um, do your ultimately your best you know, each and every day because you have a coach that's behind you and that wants the best for you. And so that's something that I've seen, you know, from our you know time period of him be getting here into now, it's been so much fun. You know, that's that's the best thing about it is that football's been fun, and to be around him, it's been awesome. And, and I just continue to enjoy our relationship. How is Kalen sort of tweak the offense for y'all and y'all skill sets versus what you saw on tape with him in Washington? Uh, I think he hasn't really. I mean, of course, you try to you know simplify our team into strengths and weaknesses. And so with that, you're going to attack the shrimps because that's what's going to make us successful. And so um, us as an offense, you know, we're not one dimensional. We have so much elements to our game that's going to be um, super successful this year. And, you know, with, you know, with him being at Washington and with him being now, you know, you can, you know, separate into pillars of, you know, what is our strengths, what are our weaknesses. And so, um, you know, during the offseason, you have spring ball, you have summer ball, you have fall camp to now. Second, you know, have that, you know, information that we can build on for, for us on offense. When you have that kind of conversation with him, is that something that goes over time? Or do you see, how, how do those, you know, preferences, how do you convey them to him? What's the process of that like? 
Um, I think it's coming from com confidence and, comfort, com and being comfortable. Um, you know, at the end of the day, when a player's on the field, he needs to play fast, free, fearless. And so with that, it comes with play calls. It comes with um, f being familiar with the scheme, being prepared, um, taking notes when you're in the film room so that when you go on the field, you can play fast because the, the biggest thing is a player, you don't want to be thinking, overthinking while you're on the field. And so um, I, think it's been, I think that's very important, you know, when it comes to our schemes and maneuvers, when it comes to playing in game one, when it comes to inst installing plays, it's all about the benefit of the whole team, and which is, you know, something that we do really well at. Oh, absolutely. You know, for sure, like, one thing about it is that it's hard to beat an offense that's not one-dimensional. You know, that's something that we take pride in um, on offense is that we're not one-dimensional. We have so many areas of our game that we can utilize in every room, um, you know, and then especially, you know, with the run game, with the passing game, it's going to be hard for our defense to just decipher, you know, what are they going to do on offense. And so, you know, for us on offense, you know, all we want to do is continue to be 1-0 mindset-wise and just build off the next play because, you know, it's hard to say, you know, what we're going to run in the next play because we have so many areas of our game that we can be explosive at. I don't, uh, you know, that's something that is something that, you know, is very important to me. Um, I take a lot of pride in representing our football team, representing the state of Alabama, representing the guys in our locker room and the positive lighting. And so to have the opportunity to be a captain um, this year is very, very important. And, you know, I'm super excited for the opportunity. And so now it's just trying to be the positive reflection of our football team each and every day that I walk into the building. And so, you know, I'm just super thankful to be nominated as the team captain this year. I'll say, you know, our goal ultimately is each game that goes by, we need to get better. Our first game shouldn't be our best game. You know, each game that we have this year, we should get constantly getting better. And as we're getting better, you know, you simplify the game. We want to know um, attacking each and every day. You do that, you complement, you know, success and stuff like that. You're going to reach the top, you know, of the mountain. And so, of course, we know what's at the top of the mountain, which is all the success, every every goal that every team in the whole country has for themselves is at the top of the mountain. You know, it's not reachable right now. So the biggest thing we try to do is attack fall camp, which we, where we were just at, and now it's game week, um, and just being prepared as much as possible. And that's something that emphasizing to the whole group is just being prepared um, for all aspects of the game because we're going to need all four quarters to be successful as a football team. Okay. Yeah. I think that's a really good question. Um, I think experience is the best teacher. Um, with so many opportunities of playing the game of football, you learn so much about yourself and it makes you stronger. And that's something that I can truly say is that my journey of being in college has made me stronger and been prepared for all aspects of um, whatever you know takes place in the future. And so I got to applaud my support system along this process. They've been great to me, uplifting me along the journey. You know, whenever the process got weary, you know, I've been, you know, constantly just been strong based off my support system that's been around me and the coaching staff that's been around me. And so, you know, I, I have an army behind me. So it's been, you know, awesome to have that in a sense. But, you know, along this process, all about trusting in it. That's something I learned for Coach Saban is as cliche as it is, just trusting the process. You know, there's going to be light at the end of that tunnel based on your race. Your race is your race. Nobody else can, you know, determine your race. And so that's something I take a lot of pride in when it comes to a journey is that um, there's going to be brighter days, you know, and, and it's all about setting short-term goals and long-term goals. When you have that, you have something that's reachable in a sense, and you have something that you're working towards. And so, you know, now at this aspect of where I'm at, you know, as a quarterback, there's always room for improvement. Never can get complacent, but I can truly say that I'm proud of myself because of the process that just trusting it, you know, and that's something that I got a credit coach saving for, and now coach the board because he emphasizes trust in the process. And so um, with this process, you know, it's all about, you know, being surrounded by like-minded people, which is be, to be successful and just, you know, keep pushing and not getting complacent. A lot of the divorced former players talk about him being a, a father figure to them. Have you had a moment this offseason where, you know, you, 
can share with us that where maybe he kind of showed that to you or was, was there a moment that kind of exemplified that with, with you and his relationship? Um, I can just credit him to how, how great of a person he is. Um, just the likability he has in the whole um, facility, you know, and when he's around, you know, it's never a dull moment with Coach DeBoer. And I love that about him. And, you know, one thing, of course, strive for perfection, but he acknowledges that as a work in progress. And so it's always, you know, critique in private, praise um, in public. And that's something that he does a really good job at. And, you know, um, I can just say that I'm really ha having a lot of fun. Um, the game of football is fun, you know, just being around him. And it, and it is something that's emphasized with the whole coaching staff. And then you got to always t st start with the top of the pinnacle, which is Coach DeBoer, but also the coaching staff that he has with us um, has been awesome. So um, I'll just say, man, I just am super excited for what is in store for our football team and also being led by Coach DeBoer because it's been a fun process. Thank you, Jalen. Appreciate you.